Now, your weekly Wolfpack Sports Update, brought to you by News 5. Hello again, I'm Lee Douglas with another Wolfpack Sports Update. The Thunderwolf men's and women's basketball teams each extended the starts to the season to 3-1 and one this past weekend. The Pack women headed to Cal State Monterey Bay for the Otter Classic, splitting a pair of games at the Thanksgiving tournament. In the opener with CSU Monterey Bay, the Thunderwolf saw a late comeback come up just a little short in a 70-67 loss to the defending California Collegiate Athletic Conference champions. But they followed it up with a great defensive showing two days later against Simon Fraser. The Thunderwolves out-rebounded Simon Fraser 49-34, including 10-plus rebound showings from junior Erica Hicks and true freshman Katie Neff as the pack grinded out a 55-50 win. The men went 2-0 at the Colorado Mesa Thanksgiving Classic, grabbing a pair of close wins. The Thunderwolves won a defensive battle with Dixie State, staving off a comeback after a three-pointer by senior Andre Martin inside of the two-minute mark helped deliver a 53-49 win. The next day against NAIA Southern Virginia, the Thunderwolves nearly saw a double-digit lead disappear. But senior Ty Trahern saved the day he sank a basket with 17 seconds remaining to preserve a 72-70 win. At 3-0 under new coach Ralph Turner, the new CSU Pueblo coach is off to the best start of any coach in school history. Well, last Saturday, the wild ride that was the CSU Pueblo football team came to a premature stop as the Thunderwolves held it their first playoff game in nearly 30 years. The Pack hosted defending national champion Minnesota Duluth in front of over 11,000 fans, a record crowd at the Thunder Bowl, and the game was neck and neck the whole way. Duluth took its first lead in the second quarter on a lucky bounce into the hands of Joe Reichert. They go up 10-7. Then the fumble bug hit Duluth as the wild snap rolled into the end zone and into the hands of defensive end Corey Orth. That put the T-Wolves up 14-10 at halftime. After Duluth went up 17-14, a 12-play 80-yard Thunderwolf drive was capped off by this 18-yard scramble for a touchdown. That put the pack up 21-17 with just one quarter to play, but Duluth played like the defending champs of the fourth quarter going up for good 24-21 on this one yard run by Brian Lucas and then holding on as the defense held the pack to a grand total of 11 yards in the fourth quarter. The 24-21 score ended the pack's 11-0 season, making the Thunderwolves the first number one ranked team since 2000 to lose its opening playoff game. After the game, pack coach John Riston reflected on the season as well as the previous four years that led to Saturday. Uh, proud of uh what this group of seniors have been able to accomplish. Uh, we didn't want it to end. Played a, played a heck of a football game, and uh, we uh, gave it our best shot. I couldn't be prouder of our guys. A lot of credit to Minnesota Duluth, make the plays when they had to. But, uh, you know, we, we tasted what it tastes like to be in national playoffs, and we want to continue to grow and learn from what our experience were. And uh, we're excited that the future's bright here at CSU Pueblo is because of what these seniors have done. As a college athlete, you know it's going to come to an end at some point, but you just, you just don't know when. And, you know, I think we don't really have anything to, to be too sad about it other than the fact of losing. I mean, we went out there and we fought as a team. We, we gave it everything we had, and I don't know. I mean, it's just hard just knowing that, that that's the last time I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come to this, this stadium and, and put a uniform on us. Just, I don't know. Though the season is over, Riston can still be recognized as the Liberty Mutual Coach of the Year. Fans can log on to coachoftheyear.com and place their vote for Coach Riston. At stake is a $50,000 donation to the charity of his choice and a $20,000 donation to the Alumni Foundation of the winner. That's it for this week. See you next time with another Wolfpack Sports Update.